Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it is. It's a black hole! It's a black hole! Of course. You know, I had a feeling about it. And we're being sucked towards it, and the short explanation is that we're all gonna die! Oh, 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 oh bitter irony. I just read an article by Stephen Hawking. Oh. Hold me, Crow. Embrace me in the moment of oblivion. Don't worry. Mike can help us. He's kind of smart, and his arms work, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> what are we panicking for, huh? <laughs> Mike can fix it? Yeah, he won't let us die. He's frosty in the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we are in deep trouble. No! Stow it, you two. Mr. Gypsy, status report. Sir, the ship has been trapped in the gravity well. The black hole is presently plummeting towards the singularity. Mr. Cambot, red alert. Mr. Gypsy, you're with me. Mr. Servo, you have the con. All right, now what we need to do is realize... Oh, what's he doing with my toy phone? Uh, I, uh, I don't know, but don't bother him. Oh, sure, he's gone totally mental, but... Look how poised he is, how confident. You know, you're right. And he has the subtle allure of a woman in the full flower of early middle age. Mm. All right. Ah. I've realigned the Penrose tubes and jettisoned the stream of Einsteinium through the Hawking converter, thereby reversing the Oppenheimer effect and propelling us through the Asimov space curtain. Mr. Cambot, engage. <laughs> Mr. Gypsy, report. We pulled free of the singularity and we turned to plummeting out of control and it ever increasing speed. Excellent. <laughs> now, Mr. Servo, Mr. Crow, I'm responsible for the lives of 148 crew members aboard this ship, 144 of which we never see. But sometimes, I have to get a little rough. Yeah, that's the way I like it. Rough. Because I never, ever do anything nice and easy. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Very slowly and rough. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. 